Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Are you a total chainsaw newbie and would love to learn how to freehand chainsaw mill? Well, this video might be for you. I've done a few videos about freehand chainsaw milling and I've had a few comments where they actually went to the video that I learned how to do it from, uh, which is Advoco Makes. Look it up and we'll put the, the video in the description below. Um, I've had a few comments where they've watched it, they've tried and haven't managed. And a couple of people have told me that um, they need a kind of more one-to-one -one lesson. So I thought um, Ollie, who is one of our volunteers here at the moment, um, hasn't had much experience at all with the chainsaw. And I've been, while I've been freehand chainsaw milling, I've been short telling him a few tips here and there. But I thought today I'd give him a lesson because some people do learn by watching other people learn. So keep watching, I'm going to give Ollie a lesson on how to freehand chainsaw mill. He's going to start on the small one here, I'll show you what he's doing. So he's just getting in some posts in the ground, so he can tie it to the posts and raise it off the ground so he doesn't touch the floor, because if the chain touches one grain of sand, it's blunt. So you get big minus points if you hit the ground here. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so he's got one, two, and he's going to put a third over here. So then after this one, he can get promoted to a slightly longer one. If I pass this level. If you pass this level, yeah. Otherwise, it would be another one of these. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Okay, so now you want to set up your guide. Mm -hmm. So your first cut is going to cut off the end, so I would go somewhere there, cut off the so you want to go an inch, mm -hmm. so you want to go somewhere here. So I've told him how I do it, um, if you want you can measure them out in nice like with two lines or three or four and go to the other side then you can set up the guide for every single cut. But what I like to do is just set up the first one, so I cut, cut around an inch away from the guide. So the first slice is going to be the wastage, and then I take the guide away and I use that edge as a guide. So let's say you cut an inch from that, mm -hmm. so you're going to cut there, you know, so you're good. And that will be wastage, or firewood anyway, mm -hmm. so that looks good. While you get your chaps on, I'll just recap quickly. So once you've come to this stage, now I like to mark it first. Uh, let's score it. Yeah, like uh, so you get that straight line and then yeah. you can get rid of this. Yeah. Which bugs me. Look, it's still here this one. Okay. I have to cut it. So, I mean, obviously, bringing it down like this, it's easier to see that it's completely parallel with the line, right? Yeah. But the cutting should be mostly done with here. Yeah. So you kind of. I, I start like this and then bring it down just so I get this whole line of seeing if it's parallel, and then I pull back. Right. Uh, kind of like a grinder. And then once you've got that, you can, we can get rid of this, this guide. Three, two to three teeth you have to use only. One, two, three. Right. So it's this angle, and you get it in there, and just keep it pressed. With the still I told you I release, but with yeah. this you can just keep it pressed. Mm -hmm. Makes it easier. And just really get that feeling of and if you can go the whole way, because this is a short log, yeah. and do it at the same time, right. this might get in so, the way. So, so am I am I just going one way and then lifting and starting at the front? No, or no, you roll forward. forward. You have to roll. You have to get that rolling okay. feeling. So it's going to be in the way. Okay, ear protection. Yeah. Eye protection, leg protection, don't forget, never put your leg okay. in its path. It's going to be and a dry be, run without, and, without it started, so I think you Okay, and, and, be, and always obviously hold it from here, don't forget for that. Yeah. And be aware that when you're like this, it's going to kick back. Even though you've got the safety, you still should be aware. You, you don't want to be like this, you know. Right. So always, no limbs, nothing of yours, whichever way it's pointed, you know, always be careful. 
first try and mark it and then you can turn it off take your time you know yeah. there's no rush this is learning I just want to see what it feels like in the hand yeah 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 well, I reckon when I get but you'll feel it rolling once you've got that first groove you roll it in it yeah you have to think of it like I told you of cutting below where the blade is you're just cutting out that you're yeah. not you're not touching the sides you know Score, scoring it you're just taking yeah. out exactly below the, the chain okay so first dig it into there mm -hmm. and then try and try and get parallel bring it down slowly then just okay. get a feel for it now to start the chainsaw, I don't know if I ever told you, I always hold it here, like that, so at least it's nice and solid, okay? That's one way to do it, there's others, but... And there, always in the front of it. You don't want to be here, you know, when it hits you late, you have to always be there. The closer you are to this, when it gets back, Okay, so that's not, not bad at all, eh? I mean, you're pretty parallel to it. Yeah. The only thing that I noticed is you might have been a bit like this. Oh, oh, you know what I mean? Okay. So you kind of have to let it rest on it. Okay. And then just to make sure that it's more parallel, if you bring it down and look at it from here. Oh yeah, you can line you, it. You can get much more of a... You get a better eyeball on it. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you did go in a bit, if you look at it. Yeah. You yeah. see how it's it's gone in like this and then back out again slightly here. Yeah. So if, if you just do and start um, so start rolling it straight away. Don't do this and do one. Just get that feeling. You see, look. Okay. Roll it in the and, and, and that's why it cuts straight because it's with gravity and you're just holding it like this. Yeah. And now all you're going to do is this. Da, 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 da. Now sometimes as you're coming back, you might move slightly and it'll catch the side there. If you do, just stop. And go forward again okay. and then do it again. Okay, okay. But otherwise it looks pretty good for a first cut. Alright, thank you. So now is the rolling time. Now it's marked. Pretty smooth. Look at it. No. it happens so quickly, though. The, uh -huh, I'm telling it. you, it just takes yeah. it. And with the with a deeper log, with the still, it's even more. I do it all the time. Yeah. But it's not a big deal, you know. So you can take off the guide. My first bit. Eh? Well, that's the this one. You have this would be your first bit, not that. Yeah. I know, but look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Very good, man. Very good. It's nice. You really feel it on the knots, don't you? Uh huh. For sure. It's much harder. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, you really do. I was quite surprised how much it was um, resistance you get on the knot. And don't forget, like at the end, you're doing it better. The higher, the less. If you just use one, two, yeah, it's even better. Okay. You, and you'll see how it's cutting yeah. more and it rolls nicer, you know. Okay. So now I'm maximum one, two, three. But yeah. So, so now, now take off the guide and now try to do this line as parallel as you can with that one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because it's super sharp, it really went deep when the far first marking. So try and go slightly faster if you can. There's no, doesn't matter if you don't. But like I said, try and bring it down, just and without touching the end, yeah. just so you can see that line. It really helps me. Yeah, yeah. When I'm like this, mm -hmm. you know, you can really yeah. see if it's parallel. Because like this, you're only seeing this. Yeah. And like that, if, if it's slightly like mm -hmm. like this way, you're gonna see it more. You know. Okay. Yeah. Good luck. When you start doing this piece up, when you, after you've marked it and you start cutting, yeah. have a look if you can at how it's going down. To make sure it's to make sure level. it's coming down straight, straight. and parallel, parallel. And, and it's like very pleasing yeah. to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. There's a lot going on. Right. So first, first mark is what I do. Let me just show you this. First mark. Calculate one inch like that. Let's go. 
just like that. It doesn't help you at least. You've got to start, then you go like that, and then you go, okay, that looks good. Uh, It's not bad at all. So one thing, when you start again, don't rev and then put it in. Put it in and feel this before you even press the thing. Okay. Feel it rolling on it. You okay. really have to get this, you feel this. Okay. Is that why you end up with these? Ah, uh -huh, well, yeah, that's because you've moved it like that. So you've really got to let the weight of it sit on it. And really even try and do this faster. Let me just cut this one off and show you, maybe you can see now that you've better better feeling for it, what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna go a bit thicker, yeah. just to make up for that. So, go there. So I parked it. I put pressure there, and then I kind of let it go. Pressure. And if you put pressure on it, it cuts quicker, kind of. You feel it, really. You saw how quick it cut, this one. Yeah. Give it another go. I think we can go... Yeah, you're all right. So maybe go there. Yeah? Okay. Well, even the, the lining, like, moving back, you see how much quicker? I know you're obviously a bit more careful because you're new to it, but...
That is not bad, man. Not bad at all. Look at that. That's all right. It's 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 it looks easier than it is, man. Yeah. I mean, if you if you tell someone to try and do this without that technique, this will be, you know, it's not going to be like this, nearly perfect. Look at that. It's not bad at all, man. And whenever you touch it anywhere else except those bottom three teeth, I told you, you do this stuff, yeah. and it happens all the time to yeah. to me. I mean, and it's not a big deal. That with the grinder, boom, 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 and it's done. Beautiful. All right. Cool, no? Yeah. I think you can get one more out of it. To find the groove again inside, mm -hmm. you know I told you don't don't press the throttle. Yeah. What helps is if you put it down and just hit the throttle once and let it go forward and it kind of gets into the groove that you were in before, right, you know, okay. so it goes vroom and then you can go vroom. And as soon as you feel it, that you're, you you feel it, you, you do feel it, right? When you're pulling back and it pulls to the side yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever, Sorry. just push forward again. So it goes back into the groove and then back again. Mm -hmm. But I mean, now you get, you've got the concept of it and now all it takes is just practice at the end of the day, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you start kind of feeling, when you start cutting through, I kind of do this, mm -hmm. like get it through and then pull back. But that comes with time, like the feeling of it. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I love coming through the bottom. It's a good feeling. Alrighty, so Ollie did really, really well, eh? I mean, there's a few nicks and things, but for the first time, that's pretty good. A couple of them he went too thin, but it's still a usable board. So I'm really, really proud of him. He's really done a good job. And now, like I told him, all it takes is practice. So next one will be a, a log longer than this, but it's the same concept, you know? So that was really, really good. I hope you got something from this video and it'll help you out. One thing before I, before I leave, um, another tip, which I just thought of. When you come to the last cut, now I always stand on this side of the, of the log when I'm cutting, over here. But when you're scoring the last cut, there is a danger because of the log is rounded down, obviously, that when you're doing the first cut, it slides off, which is super dangerous. So what I do is normally go on the other side and get a deep enough score for the tip of the chainsaw to fit in it. And then you can either keep cutting like this or you can go back around it this way and do it without any danger of it slipping out of the, of the groove and hitting you. So I hope you got something from this video. If you did, don't forget to comment, like and share this video. And that's it for me. Take it easy and I'll see you next time.